The meek shall, in, shall inherit the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. A shalom. First off, I like to say, Kal halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahuak Wadash. The Wadi Yahweh for giving us Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who have the 100% spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shai in them. Double honors to the Connecticut elders of GMS, our big brothers. Greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name of what you people stupidly and ignorantly call God and see. The true name is Yahweh by Shimon Shai, which is none other than the power of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans and anybody who are descendants from those people on their father's, father's side. Shalom to those who are scattered abroad. I'm Ya'aikwa. Um, shalom to the Shalom to the Akim and Akwath. And yeah, come kind of just doing a real uh, quick show. I was reading Psalms 37, well, the Psalms this morning, and um, I, you know, I was reading through 37, and um, you know, uh, of course, hit home to do a spirit. I mean, to do a show, <laughs> through the spirit. And, um, you know, of course, we're going to go into the word meek and 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 who that applies to in, um, in planet Earth. You know, what people that does that apply to? What kind of people, you know? So I'm going to read the whole Psalms 37. Okay, and then we're, um, I'm going to read, let me read off the definitions of meek. All right. So meek. You know, it all points to the so-called blacks, Latino, Native Americans, okay? And uh, you can tell by this definition. The definition of meek in the blue letter, all right, I forgot to look up the Hebrew. I think it was an, Anawa or Manawa, I forget. I, something Nawa. I didn't remember to write it down. But the definition is afflicted, okay, modest, uh, afflicted, afflicted, miserable, uh, humble, poor, needy, weak, and lowly okay that that's all the definitions of weak now if you can you can apply that to our people okay there's no other people on the face of the world that is more lowlier than us and lowly lowly doesn't mean only like as far as your wealth and your economy and your um finances so to speak your money and all that kind of stuff but also oh your it also also includes your welfare your surroundings uh your mind your spirit um in, in your morals and your ethics and the people who are the most lowly physically and spiritually are none other than the so-called the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, we're the we're, uh, the lowly people of the earth. Um, also in attitude and even living in the ghettos, that's lowly. You know, being in jail, being bugged out, that's lowly as well, you know. Uh, weak, okay, weak physically and mentally. Okay, our people are very weak. Okay, I mean, we're the only people who don't know who they are. When you, if you don't know who you are, like the phrase goes, you don't know where you're going. Okay, these other nations have an idea of who they are because they know their history. So they have a, that they're stronger and more confident who they are as a people. But our people, they claim they're confident with claiming black, a damn color, which has a vibration of, of which means void of light or void of knowledge or void of intellect. You know, our people have, have adopted a color that... Uh, you know that that um, takes that looks makes you look ignorant, man. You you claim ignorance. You claim avoid empty mind as your nationality. You know that's so that's this that's weak. You're weak as a people through your mind. It says scripture say, uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay, that's number one. You don't know ultimately your Lord, our Lord, and their name and our power. Okay, and not only you're weak, you you have no power. Okay, look at this in, in society. We're we're here to do slavery here. We're servants to these other nations, these task mask masters over us, as far as these other nations are concerned. Here it is, you, your ancestors did slavery here, but you have uh, uh, Abdul, uh, uh, whatever, you know, in your neighborhood, just came in there last week, has a whole new story showing you camel meat, man. Okay, uh, taking over your neighborhood. You got all these other nations coming in your neighborhood where your where your ancestors shed their blood and they get first pass to go get these college degrees where it's nothing but dogma in these colleges anyway, these institutes, and um, and get credit and loans from banks to establish their business. 
But what about your ancestors actually have been in this land through slavery or whatever have you, and you don't you wouldn't even, you don't even have a bigger piece of the pie when we should because we built this country, and if they were all about e e equal equality and e equity, we should be the ones getting all the um rest. You know, we should want we should be the nation of Israel should be getting all attention from the world, man. But we're not, you know. So we're the needy. Okay, we need the Most High, His laws, His statutes. So we need knowledge. We need help, and you need, we need food, clothes, all that. Okay. Our people are more more needed than any other nation on planet Earth. Why? Because we are poor. That's another definition of meek. Poor. Who are the poorest in the in the world, man? Again, our people in the islands, in the South America, wherever we dwell, we're a poor nation. You know, as far as money and do whatever. You know what I mean? So poor. Oh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say poor. Uh, oh yeah. You know, an average household of an Edomite family is what eighty-eight thousand a year. They make. An average household of a uh, or average Israelite person, you know, starting with the man, you know, they're worth they only average about three thousand dollars a year. And this stat I looked up back in like two two thousand eight two thousand nine, okay, probably even lower right now. You know, um, we're very poor. And as far as um, American wealth, as far as the people, you know, you people don't even own, own percent two percent of the world's uh, wealth. I mean, uh, 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 America's wealth, and that includes the, the, the people who are doing good in our. In our uh, in our um, nation, you know, of our people, you know, the rich, the rich elites, the rich celebrities, and all that. Okay, so you know you're poor. Okay, you have no money, especially now with the uh, fun, uh, with the unemployment getting cut off and all, or whatever have you, right? Um, humble, uh, right, miserable, right? Who are the humble? And really, this applies to the to the to the men of the Lord. Really, let me speed it up. Miserable. Who's most? Yeah, who's most miserable and afflicted? Let's 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 hold this on the men of the Lord, the the people who believe in the Most High. The people who are most miserable and afflicted are the people that have the knowledge. Because in Ecclesiastes it says, let me get it real quick. Okay, you're going to be afflicted in a, in a wicked world. If you're righteous, you're going to be a miserable man in a wicked world. World. Okay. Here it is. You believe in one thing, and the whole world believes in something else. Let me go to Ecclesiastes, uh, the first chapter, right? It says, uh, uh, 1 and 17, I gave my heart to know wisdom and, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit. For, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. And that's what it is in the spirit of the Lord, man. When you increase the knowledge, you come into the Lord, you know, you realize, wait, wait a minute, man. Uh, that's not the Lord. His name is not Jesus Christ. Hold up. Uh, he doesn't have uh, uh, vitiligo or pale skin or have leprosy. He doesn't look like a white man. The Lord looks like a so-called black man. And you're going to find that you've been lied to your whole life. And this was used as far as uh, white supremacy to beat our people down to control our people's minds, man. You're going to find out that, that the Renaissance was really about painting over our images, painting over uh, the term is called icon iconoclasm. And whitewashing over our history of our Lord and of our disciples of our power, you know that that makes you sad when you realize the whole world is against you and lying to you, man. But then you're happy because it's the gospel of the Lord. This is prophecy, and the Lord's gonna uh, extinguish all that, man, by a nuclear fire, and bring in the true knowledge, man, which we should be joyful too, because there's all this wickedness is at an end, man, you know. But overall, you know, we are poor because we don't have the the, the knowledge of the Lord, like it says. I call the poor of the world, rich in faith, okay? The poor are the nation of Israel, and for the more the elect, you know? Okay? We are the, we are afflicted in miserable because this is a wicked world. How can you be how can you be righteous in a wicked system? Okay? That's like somebody who's not that's like somebody who's not on crack goes well no, that's not a good example. I can't really think of a good one, but basically, we're, this is you're, we're put in a place that claims to be righteous, but is not. You know, we're the real righteous, but we live in a society that's totally off, uh, miserable, humble, needy, weak, and lowly. So you get the point, okay? Let me speed this up and read Psalms 37, Salak. So that's what meek is, okay? Now Psalms 37 and one, it's quite a lot. So let me read. It said, and this is applies to what's about to happen around the corner. You know, Jacob's trouble, okay? 
Fret not thyself because of evildoers, because we live in a, we live amongst evildoers. Look at start with your political, your politicians, man, in this country, Babylon the Great. Okay, you neither neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Don't want to be like these people that put you down. Like Proverbs three and thirty three says, or three and thirty one, envy not that, envy not that, not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Okay, we are oppressed and beat down by this, by the system and this people behind it. These Edomites, these devils, and you want to go on and be like them, the people who beat, who beat you down. You want to live like them, the people who beat you down throughout history, people who mock and scoff on the still look down on you. All right, but you niggas want you want to live in this wicked society that beat you down, man. For they sh and don't respect you, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and with it as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thy dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall, and he shall bring it to pass. And that means we got trusted him by having that faith. We believe in him, even if... We don't see him, but we believe in him through the prophecies, man, through the teachings, and him opening up our mind. Okay, we see him through the eyes of our spirit, man. Faith, okay, not the body, not this flesh, uh, not the guy you look in the mirror, the spirit that's in you. That's Yahweh Shai. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Saint John, excuse me, First John four and four. Okay, so we're supposed to trust in Yahweh Shema Shai, man. Okay, faith, man, faith. Okay, commit thy way. How do we commit that way? Well, by following his laws, statutes, commandments, following daddy's rules. Okay, this is how we commit our way. This is how we make our, ourselves stern by keeping his word, by keeping the commandments. Those who love me keep my commandments. Simple as that, man. Okay, and doing his will, going out the prophesying, waking up the elect. And he shall bring forth righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him whose prosperity. Prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and for, forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall, shall they inherit the earth. Okay? It says, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be yet, not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall be, and it shall be not so. But the meek, with the point of the show, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Okay? And that's the point there, that the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And the meek ultimately is the nation of Israel, man. Okay? For the more, starting with the aristocrats, the cream of the crop elect, and on down. Okay? Yahweh Shai, King Devin, down. Our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Look how he came. He was meek, man. Okay, he was meek, the Lord. Humble. And he's the first spirit ever created, man. Okay, the meek shall inherit the earth. The Israelites, the, the lowly, we are. We don't even know ourselves, but we will inherit the earth because the Lord has came back for the lost tribes of the nation of Israel, the lost. The wicked plotteth against just and gnasheth upon it with his teeth. Is it not true? The elites, the international banking families, they're plotted against the just righteous man. We're coming at that time that the wicked shall be persecuted. That Jersey City situation that was a, a setup for them to use later. That that's not going away. There's they're set they're building a plan to set up the Israelites, man, the Hebrew Israelites. You know, for the more the elect, the true people of the Lord. All right, the wicked plotteth against the just and the gnasheth upon the, with its teeth. The Lord shall laugh him for the for the, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out their sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. That's right. What's, what's going on in the news right now? They're saying that you need this jab and directing towards our people. And for the very reason why. Why did they say that we, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and they said it just like that on the TV. They said that the so-called blacks, the Native Americans, and Latinos... They're the ones who need that Beetlejuice first. Why? The sole reason they said why? Because of their poor, their 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 um wealth and their poverty. They can't afford good food, healthcare system. These people are the poor, so they they said it out loud that we're the poor, right? And they said because we can't we can't have a healthy immune system because of our how we live. We're poor. So that that proves that we're the meek. And the media said that, based on you getting that Beetlejuice. But what? But all it is is a, is, a, is is what is a is a drawn sword from the wicked. That and it looks like a sword too. That 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 
that prick, that needle, man, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor or needy and to slay such as be upright conversation. Yes, they cannot come after ones who believe in the Lord, ultimately, that's the elect, the men of the Lord. And they're coming out to kill, man. That's what they're doing. They, they're literally taking out people of the world, depopulation, you know, which is probably going to get deleted off that. I said that. They're swarshal and in, in, enter into their own heart and their bot and their and their uh and their honor and their bows shall be broken a little a little that a righteous man hath is better than he that the riches of many wicked for the arms of the wicked shall be broken but but the lord upholdeth the righteous the lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inner inheritance shall be forever they shall not be ashamed in evil time and in the days of famine they should be satisfied we come into those times but the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of the lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away by the nuclear destruction. Right? That fat is going to burn you. We don't. You're, you're all fat used to be for the sacrifice. All you people that's not going to make it. You're going to be burned by that fire, the nuclear fire. The wicked barreth and prayeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed have of him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delighteth in his way though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down for the lord upholdeth him that is with his hand i have been young and now am old yet i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging begging bread he is an ever merciful and lendeth and his seed is blessed depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore for the lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. I'm going right through it real quick. The, and it's self-explanatory. Uh, the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is in his heart. The of your mind, none of his steps shall be so slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him with it when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt the in inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in, in a great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, which are the apostles and on down and Connecticut elders, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the ones who break the laws of the Heavenly Father. And that's our people, because it's applied to them, but all you other demons, because you don't, you know, you you, you, you naturally are, are <laughs> you naturally break the laws, man, or righteous wisdom. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and delight in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him at his hand. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. The righteous will never be forsaken. He is ever merciful, and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Oh, I read that, I'm sorry. 33. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee and to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in, in a great power, and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not yet. Yea, I sought him, and but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressor shall be, be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of, is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. And that's what it is. At the end of the day, the ones that trusted him, you, can, you can't show your trust by none other than faith. Okay? That's the trust. Okay? And, um, and that's, what it's all, that's what it's coming down to, man, the faith. The Lord's going to help them that, that have the faith in him, man. And that's the and having in faith is doing his work, you know, waking up the elect, you know, praying, fasting, uh, building with a brotherhood, respecting our apostles and elders, man, you know, being righteous, like we're meant to be, okay, and um, 
That's it, man. We are the meek. Everything points to that we are the meek, man. And ultimately, who the ultimate meek? The meek are the elect. Because we're the most afflicted in a, in a wicked world. You know, like a lot said, I'm vexed uh, by the conversation of the wicked. We're vexed. We're vexing this society, man. I mean, th this is a sickening world, man. Anybody with a right man, which shows to prove the, to prove the world, this place, place ain't right. And that number two people got their head tight, head screwed tight, but only the people who believe in the Lord. Okay? We're the most afflicted, man. This is a wicked world, man, but it's about to get righteous and cleansed uh, through the power of Yahweh by Shemai Shai, man. So with that, um, I pray you edified. I pray the Lord was with the show. And uh, until next time, Shalom. Okay? So with that, I would like to say, Kal Halal, Yahweh by Shemai Shai, by Shemai Dush. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to Connecticut elders. Shalom to your brothers in this country and all over the world. Shalom.